Hello and welcome everybody, this is Omar from Team Earthstream and bringing you another online match that we got going on for an online tournament for our team. So today we'll be going against William, he is one of our juniors in our age division for our team. And he's already, he's already going the world, so this is a phenomenal little player that we have on our team. I'm excited to have him on our team, so today it looks like we're going to try to pick up pads again. So I was able to get a better mic, so hopefully y'all are able to hear me, and also I remember this time to turn down the music. Well, on the last video, I forgot to uh, turn the music down while I was trying to commentary, so I'm sorry about that, guys. So hopefully this time, you can hear me a little bit better. So, I'm not sure what William is going to be playing today. He, he's he been playing a Venusaur Turbo version of his, which has been playing out so good for him. It's been getting him wins of these League Cups that we've been having here recently. Okay, so it looks like I lost that coin flip, but that's alright. Going second for uh, Pika Rom is is good as well. We we're able to do that full blitz if we we're able to get it off. So it looks like we did get a pretty decent hand to start off with. So on William's side, if he is playing the Venusaur, let's see what he's playing. Okay, so it looks like he might be playing the Venusaur. So the point of Venusaur, he is running the Victor Bolts with it. So he wants to get Grovens out to get that the turn two Victor Bolts going. And uh, Strong Charge some energies from his deck onto his active or either wherever the Venusaur may be. <clears throat> so it's super fast setup. And he has the option to do either or attack that he wants. Okay, so Netball for that Venusaur. So he is going to want to play it down, he's also going to get some Grubbins down if he can this turn, that way he can get some Vicka Bolts going on his next turn. Okay, buffing pads. So this is a lot of damage that we're going to have to do to this Venusaur to be able to bring it down. <clears throat> okay, so he threw away the Stadium because it's not going to help him in this matchup because it's also going to help me. And he's already got buffer pads going so that plays out even better. Yeah, so there is that first Grubbin. And it looked like he threw away Guzma as well. So all he needs right now is a supporter and he'll be able to go. Okay, so there's that Tapu Lele for that Wonder Tag to grab that supporter. He's probably going to Lele. He should Lele. Okay, so on our turn, we are going to try to... So we got energy ultra ball, so that's good to get some energy in the discard. We can also marsh shuttle. We'll see if we marsh shuttle on this turn or not to reduce his hand size after that living. So we can marsh shuttle and draw into supporter, be able to draw ourselves into a better hand, or either we can ultra ball away to our top of lately. Alright, so two Grubbins down, energy attachment onto the Venusaur, so he is putting a threat. We don't want to discard our Electro Powers because we are going to need him against that uh, Celebi Venusaur that he's got going on. So it looks like... My goodness. Okay, so let's Ultra Ball first. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our Coco out. We are going to Marsh Shuttle to knock him down to four, and we're going to get a fresh hand. So let's see if we get a supporter in our turn. We did not, which is okay. It's Acrobike here. Okay. All right. That was not a good Acrobike there. Two stadiums. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll do, we have one energy already over there, okay. So we can order pad, or ultra ball away the order pad. Let's get this Lele going. 
I'm just glad we were able to have a way out of that hand. Now we're going to be able to draw eight on our turn. Okay, so we want to get this Pikachu Zekrom going so we can start getting some pressure on William's side of the board. All right, so we are going to do energy attachment. Let's see. Let's get an Acrobat going. Sure, let's get this because we are going to leave these Electro Powers as well. And it looks like we won't be able to get that turn one full blitz. It's sad, but it's okay. Let's see what else we got. We got two energy in the discard pile. Hmm. What do we want to do? That Shaman's got free retreat. We don't want to put our stadium out this turn. So it looks like we are just going to pass for our turn. Okay, so this is... Free Retreat Shaman, if you get some Vigables going, he is able, able to knock, well no, he's not going to be able to knock us out, but he is going to be able to swing in. But if he does get some more energies, hopefully we can draw into a Tapu Koko GX, since we have three Electro Powers going on for us. You'll see if he does Strong Charge onto that Venusaur, it's going to put him at, if he puts two more energies on it, what, 250 or no, 200 damage. along with putting any other energies on his board. Okay, so there is that Vickable going down. So he is going to be able to strong charge already once. That free retreat. Let's see what we can do on our side after he strong charges and passes and attacks us. So he's going to want to... I'm, I'm thinking he's going to appalling hazard us. That way we're burning confused and poison. So it's going to force us to retreat or either send up another Pokemon up. Okay, so it looks like he is going to grab both energies and attach them to the Venusaur. Let's see what he decides to do here. Alright, so there is that Pollen Hazard, so we are Burn Confused and Poison as well. Alright, so the Burn stays. Oh, look at that. We draw into an Ultra Ball. But what do we want to get? Uh, let's see. That's 200, 230, 260, 290. And we still goes after that. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so we're going to do Energy Attachment onto that Coco. Okay, so we're going to do Dance of the Ancients. Ooh, this is going to be rough here. We should have kept that energy. Okay, so we misplayed. So now we have to decide if we want to get rid of Thunder Mountain, which we might, because we want to keep our Electro powers for this turn, so that's all right though. So we'll do that. We'll grab this Coco here. We'll play the Coco used to the ability. We're gonna move this energy over there, this one as well, and one from the speaker ROM. And that's it. So we are going to play these in hopes of getting Choice Ban and an Electro Power to be able to get this knockout on this. Alright, so let's see if this Order Pad gets it for us. Alright. Okay, so we have 200, 290. How many Choice Bans we got in here? We got one, two. No Marshall left. So I don't think it's going to get us a knockout here. So, okay, so let's get our let's get a choice band. All right, so we're going to go for that Tapu Thunder GX for the knockout there. And that's going to get us three prizes right there.
So now he's able to strong charge anything he puts up. And the shaman, 20 times the basic, just all oh, your Pokemon. Okay. So he wants to get another Venusaur out because he can strong charge it up and be able to do Pollen Hazard again. But it looks like he's just going to attach energy onto that shaman to be able to do the attack, maybe. Let's see what else he's got going on. Okay, so he is going to strong charge onto that shaman and onto the top of the lead. So this is going to do what? 90 damage, 30 for each one. Does he have another rare candy? Oh, netball, okay. Okay, so there is that Venusaur. Draw supporter would be great right here, so he can have a chance of getting rare candies. There it is, okay, so. He is going to have a chance to get some rare candies going on with some other Victor Bolts. And if he gets more energies on the board, then this Shaman is going to hurt real bad. And I believe that's what he is trying to do here. So right now he's at 90. It's another strong charge. We put him at 120, 150. All he needs is another energy no that's knockout with uh choice band okay so he got the knockout on this with a chain uh, shame and isn't that crazy so that means on our turn let's see what we can do we can send up zap those to get some single prizes or either send up pika rom Hope for an energy and then Rayquaza and multi switch. Oh, it's not enough for a knockout. Okay, so he did not get the other energies out. All right, so we are going to. We don't want to lose all those energies. Okay, and Zapdos can get us this knockout. Okay, so we'll play a Zapdos down. If we get Sarah Aura, we can free retreat energy attachment onto the Zapdos to get a single knockout here. Since we can't Guzma out, since we don't have a Guzma right now at the moment. So I think that might be the play that we do, unless we. No, because he can load up his Venusaur and then get a knockout here. So we definitely don't want to do that. So this is what we'll do. Ah, it's going to be rough. It's gonna be rough. Okay, so we'll Ultra Ball those two away to get this bad boy out. Or actually, we can get another Pika Rom in action here. Nope. We're going to have to get the Zero out so we can get that uh, her top of Goku out. It looks like we might have misplayed there. It's all right, though. Okay, so we're going to play this down. We are going to retreat it into the Zapdos. And we are going to do a multi-switch from this Pokemon right here. All right, and then we're literally to draw into some more cards. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. So... I'm trying to think how we're going to get the next knockout because we get here, we just need to take care of that Coco. So let's see how many Guzmos we got going on in here. So we should have two in our deck still. The point is to draw into them. And we definitely want to move these energies because he can Guzma out and return knockouts. So let's see. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll do energy switch over here because that way if he knocks out this top of Coco we won't lose those energies and the Zero R can still knock out that Guzma just in case we need to use it for that knockout so we are going to use Thunder's Assault here on the Shaman So now we need a Guzma for game here. It's just the problem of drawing into it. We do have 17 cards left in deck, so hopefully we'll draw into it somehow. 
It looks like he is going to promote that Tapu Lele. He's got some Vega Bolts going. He should be able to strong charge as much as he wants right now. He might not have energies left in the deck right now, actually. Mm, yeah, that might be hurting him right now. Okay, so did, we did not get what we needed, but that's all right. Yeah, that's a game right there for us. Okay, so we are going to retreat. Electro power right here. And uh, Plasma plasma fist for the game right there all right so it looks like he was not able to get enough energies out i'm sure that he had some price along with six six already in the discard pile so that was round one for us guys now we're going to go on to round two so let's see we have a turn of events i know that deck is very hard to go against very very hard all right so round two here we go guys Yes, he's been playing Persephalon in the prior season, and he's been wrecking house with Persephalon, and he's decided to switch over to some grass type, which has been working out for him because everybody is still playing Persephalon and Zorark and whatnot. But the thing is, when uh, people play against him and they're playing Persephalon, they think that's an easy win, but it's not going to be because he's playing weakness policies, and it's just so fast as it sets up because the Persephalon player is forced to goose more manually treat to get out of that burn confused and poison pokemon that he has oh man okay so it looks like we are gonna mulligan it's a good hand too if we had a pokemon it would have been great oh i'm sorry i did not see who was gonna go first because he needs to go first all right so it looks like we are gonna mulligan all right so now we got a lot of pokemon going And that's all we want to play right now. All right, so he drew his mulligans, drew for his turn, and it looks like he is starting off with Tapu Lele, and I got a Pikachu Zekrom. So on our turn, we're gonna wanna try to keep up with this with this pace, since he was able to get some extra cards going on in his first turn. All right, so it looks like he's getting rid of a Vicavolt and a Guardian. Either Venusaur or Grubbin coming out. I wouldn't base uh, Ultra Ball on a Grubbin though. He's got net net balls going on. And so on our turn, we're gonna want to put. Oh, so he's grabbing his second top lady. Uh, possibly Coco down. Well, we need to get some energies in this card pile. So Coco, Pikachu, Zekra, Marsh Shadow, possibly. Maybe not. It depends how many cards he's gonna have at the end of this turn. That Marsh Shadow end up, might end up hurting us, so I'd rather Cynthia first, and then if we need to, Marsh Shadow again. Okay, so we got two Tapu Leles down on his side, which is not good because I'm able to charge out a Pikachu Zekrom and take knockouts on those two. Okay, so it looks like he did mainly attach energy, possibly treat that Lele if he needs to be. So there is that Grubbin. Shaman's coming down as well. And I might not want to march out of him since it looks like he doesn't have a good hand right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and play some cards down then out our deck right here. So we're going to get rid of those. We have no energies. Let Cynthia weigh out this hand, get some fresh cards going on here. And no energy in our turn. We want to save our Electro Powers. Along with our order pads, this is going to be rough right here. Okay, so we need energies down. And we might be able to get, well, we definitely don't want to get rid of that. So let's get rid of a order pad lately this turn. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. How many energies we got? We got seven in the deck, three Guzmas. All right, so we're solid here. So let's grab this Marsh Shadow going on here. But before we play this Marsh Shadow, we are going to want to play that. Mm, we might need this Electro Power to get a Snock out if we're able to get another energy going on here. 
sure. Let's risk it for the biscuits here. All right, so let's play the Electro Power. See if we get this knockout this turn. We need energy, energy switch, and it looks like we did not. It's okay, though. So this is what we'll do then. Let me see. Let's get this guy out right now. We'll attach for turn and then we'll pass for a turn. We just need it energy in a discard pile and you know and a switch card ability to move it up to this Pikachu Zekrom to be able to get this knockout. So we wasted a electro power, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens. Like I said, Marshadow helps sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. So like he Alright, so he is gonna Volkner, he's gonna get that rare candy that he needs and an energy as well. So I think that was the best route for him because he wants to guarantee that turn two Vicka Ball going on his side. Uh, the Venusaur is really easy to get out. He's got energy on the top of Lele so he can manually retreat and load up the Venusaur to start doing some attack as well. Alright, so he has rare candy but he doesn't have Vicka Ball so I'm assuming that's what he's going to do there. Ultra Ball to search out that Vicka Ball. And we have Guzma in our hands, so we should have actually attached energy to our bench Pikachu Zekrom just in case. All right, so there is that Rick Candy Pickleball going on, so now he's gonna be able to strong charge and. He sh if he's going to strong charge onto the top of Lily, he's going to be able to do some damage onto this Pikachu Zekrom, which is going to put him in a, uh, you know, in a, in a kill area for our Tapu. Or for that Tapu Coco to get another shot into that Pikachu Zekrom. So that's going to be 60, so if he comes with the Venusaur, he is going to be in trouble here. Oh man, okay, so he's going for it. He's going all out on that one. So we definitely want to see about getting that Pikachu Zekrom out of there. Oh man, we did not get a card that we need here. So let's see what we can do here. Hmm, it looks like we can Guzma out that Vicka Bolt and put him in a tight position where he's either going to have to manually retreat it or Strong Charge it or Guzma. We don't want to get that other Lele out. So let's see what we can do here. And we don't want to bench that one. Okay, so we are going to Guzma. Pick a bolt. And we'll send out this Pikachu. And we'll just pass turn. So hopefully this stalls him out. It forces him to manually attach strong charge onto this to retreat so let's see what he does on this turn looks like this game is going slow for both of us on this one okay so it looks like he's getting a shaman he's gonna get that shaman ready because he's got a lot of energies on the board lots of energies on the board so I have to be careful as well just in case he okay so there is a gizmo so is he gonna Shaman it out. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of damage out there. I wonder if it's knockout. 60, 90, 120. Yeah, that's knockout. Man, that's crazy. Okay, so he was able to set that knockout out. Like I said, he he hit it with the Tapu Lele and then came back with that Shaman, and that was a good play by him. Uh, we weren't expecting him to have that uh, Goose in hand. Okay, so it looks like this might be game for us if we don't get a draw supporter here. All right, looks like we're going to have to uh, throw away those two cards. Okay, into a Marshadow, since we don't have our top of Lele in there. All right. Still not a good hand here. Yeah, still not a good hand here. So let's see what we can do. 
we could get <clears throat> okay so we're gonna have to okay so this is what we'll do here we're gonna have to ultra ball which is okay get this zap those that way we can get this shaman off the board here because that is dangerous right now we'll retreat it send the zapdos up and we'll thunder's assault for the knockout here all right so that's an energy attachment so if this stadium stays out in play no we still need to switch it over okay okay so he's going to promote that tapu lately which should be knockout no it's not it's not knockout well, it would be. He's got strong charge going on. Right, ultra ball buffer pads. All right. So having these two shamans is not good. I was hoping for a lele to draw into more cards on that one. Okay, so he is pulling out that Venusaur. And we have burned through some of our electro powers now too so that only gives us one and two choice bands left that's not going to be enough well no it will be because he's got a lot of energies out in play right now so just in case he promotes that venusaur and knocks out the zapdos that would be awesome to get a draw supporter and get that um type of Coco gx going Oh, and then he's going to march shadows. Okay, that's going to help us too. Okay, so we did get choice pan. So this is this is good as well. Order pads to get ultra ball, hopefully. We can ultra ball away that ray. Because we don't have Tapu Lele index, so we can't ultra ball for the Tapu Lele to get a... Oh, there goes our stadium. Oh man, okay. So a lot would need to be played here. Oh yeah, I just forgot. Yeah, so yes, we definitely need a lot here going on for us because we can send Coco away for another energy onto the board. Another ray could get us another energy, but we would have to stormy winds into one. And now we have to figure a way to promote, since we he did not get the knockout there. Okay, mysterious treasure is not going to help us here. All right, so let's figure out what we'll do. Let's do an order pad. See if we hit it. All right, we got it. Let's see before we get. So we do have one there. All right, so let's go ahead and get our last Ultra Ball out that we have. We're not going to have enough room for the Storming Winds, so we might not be able to pull this off, actually. So we're going to want to Ultra Ball away, Ray in this, and hopefully get an order pad for oh I'm not sure I am not sure okay well let's see what happens here so let's do this dance of the ancients we'll put it on those two but we only have one let me see I'm not sure how we can get this if we had another energy in the discard this this would have been great because we would have been able to get the knockout on that Venusaur and then I can't even stormy winds because I don't want to discard it so I guess what we can do is Have it ready just in case. Okay, so we'll do this. 
and we're gonna let the Zapdos take the hit here. Yeah, we're gonna let the Zapdos take the hit before we even play anything down. Since he did not pat, and since uh, the burn didn't go through, he's gonna have to attack the Zapdos again. And he was hoping for the burn that way. When my pass, my turn passed, you know, he would have gotten a knockout, and I would have had to promote another Pokemon. So it would have been great if that would have happened for his side. So we got two Vika Bolts going on his side now. We definitely need a lot. We did not see a whole lot of energies on this play, and it looks like we only have one Guzma left too. So for our next turn, since we are going to have the space for, it looks like we are going to have to st Stormy Winds with Ray, hope for an energy, and then send Coco up as well to replace whichever Pokemon we decide to put up there. Because that would be, let's see, 50, 100, 150, 2, 250. Three right there, 300 damage. Okay, so the, he does attack, knocks out that Zapdos. And just in case we don't get an energy, we're going to promote the Pikachu Zekrom. That way we can f manually or free retreat it with Zero Aura. Okay, so we are going to Stormy Winds in hopes for a energy in the discard pile. All right, looks like we did get it. Awesome. All right, so we don't need these on there yet. No, we don't. Okay, so we are going to get that Coco going. Let's move these energies around. And we don't need Choice Band Electro Power to get this knockout. But the bad thing is that he could possibly get knockout on this turn. But that, I mean, that was the best play that we could do for our turn. Because he can scout two strong charges, Tapu Lele can easily get there, I'm assuming. And with Choice Band, he's got a lot of cards in his hand, so it might be game for us here, but that's alright. Let's see, if he can strong charge, well, how many energies does he got over there? Uh, he's got a lot in the discard pile, so he's going to want to get some back in there. Down to 15 cards as well. He's gonna put another grubbin down. So let's see what he does here. Let's see what we need to get this knockout. So if we keep our hand, that'll be 60. Okay, so we'll have knockout. If he doesn't get this knockout on this top of Coco, we're gonna have knockout for our turn. Let's see what he's gonna do. Okay, so energy recycle, we get some energies. So this is definitely might change the game here. I was hoping he did not have it in hand. So there goes five energies back in the deck. All right. So Regular attachment, here goes the strong charge. Yeah, he's he's got a knockout here. Yeah, because it's gonna add my energies as well. He definitely has knockout with that second strong charge that he's got going on over there. Well, the top of Coco came when I needed it. It was awesome to have it to be able to take out that uh, Venusaur. This top of Coco is a big threat against uh, the Venusaur deck since it requires so many energies to be able to do the attacks and swing. So it looks like we are going to be going to game three after this round because he is going to get this knockout here, which was awesome. He just needed that energy recycle to get some of those energies back because I believe he didn't have enough in deck. So that guaranteed him enough energies in there before he even strong charged. So that was that was a good play right there. All right, so it looks like we are going to go to round three, like I said just a minute ago. 
All right, and let's see how this one works out for us. Hopefully we both start out well instead of kind of slow playing it. On this round, I still was not able to pull the full blitz, so today it's not playing well for me. I'm not sure if full blitz is best for against this matchup. I think hanging on to certain cards is better because yes, we do want to go first because I can use that top of Coco GX to get that those big knockouts. Because if not, I'm gonna need everything in my deck from Electro Powers to Choice Band to be able to get a Venusaur knockout, especially if he's running with buffer pads. And I definitely don't want to waste a GX, the uh, GX on a Venusaur. All right, so let's see what we're going to play first. So we definitely want to get him out of the way. And since we're going first, that's all right. So we are going to see some cards before we even Marsh Shadow for our turn along with having two of our key cards starting hand. A Pikachu Zacron would have been nice though. Alright, so we'll do this. We'll Acrobite. Sure, let's grab our Nest Ball. From that Nest Ball, we're going to grab a Pikachu Zacron to get this going. We have our Coco. We have Tapu Lele Marshall. Okay, so we got some good stuff in here along with some Guzmas and Nine Energies. Okay. So let's get this Pikachu Zekrom going. Let's get an Acrobite. Let's get Energies in here. Alright. So we definitely don't want to throw that one away. We'll throw that Energy away. And then after that we are going to Mount Shadow. That way we can bring him down to four cards. He does have a big old hand over there going. So hopefully it slows him down too. But it looks like that Mount Shadow came back and bit us. Which is all right. Okay, so now we are going to let's see what we can do here. Let's see. We definitely want to put our energy down. And you know what? We'll promote. Well, he's not going to be able to attack on his next turn. No, he's not going to be able to. We don't want to discard just yet that Coco. Okay, so we're going to pass for turn. So definitely not a great Marsh Shuttle for us. I was hoping to get a draw support or either an Ultra Ball or Mysterious Treasure to get that type of Lele that we wanted out. So it looks like he is going to be able to get out of this bad hand here. Or he might have support already in hand, so he might be searching for a Venusaur or Grubbin. Preferably a Grubbin then to get this going. So let's see what it decides to get here. So for our turn, uh, if we can get, if he brings out a Venusaur and starts loading it up, then we are good. As long as we get another energy, we have some Electro Powers going. We can even use our Aura for knockouts on the top of Lele's. But I think we are just going to, if we can get some energies going and then Promote this Pikachu Zekro and they get this double knockout. But we still got a long ways to go to get that uh, Tag Ball GX there. Okay, so here comes that Lily. So yes, we're definitely gonna be not going to be able to get it on our next turn. But a full Blitz would be nice. That way we can get some energies out and start loading up something else and have it ready. Okay, so here is that Venusaur. Is he going to grab a Grubbin? Yes, he is. All right. He definitely wants to have that Grubbin first turn. All right, so he's going to pass no energy attachment for this turn. All right. 
so we did not get a good card to promote we have energy we don't want to do that just yet uh, he is gonna be able to attack next turn so let's not give him a GX to swing at so let's do this okay so we're gonna stall out for a minute here so we're gonna retreat just in case he gets loaded up we do have this ready and all we need is energy energy to be drawn into support to be not drawn into or either Thunder Mountain and so if he gets energies going because he's gonna be able to if he gets strong charge going that's what three energies already two energies energy attachment as well okay so it looks like he does have a strong charge going and let's see what he is going to strong charge and get two energies out So onto the Venusaur they go. Is he gonna leave this Lele there? I mean, he has. There's no threat on the Lele right now. And now that this Venusaur is out, we are not gonna use our Tag Ball GX. We're gonna hold on to the Top of Cocoa one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so he is gonna get this knockout. So like I said, if we are able to. Well, that's gonna. I'm not sure that's gonna get us knockout in our return. We're gonna need more more cards here. So it's only 150. That's okay. We'll promote the zero aura just in case. That way we can retreat it back and forth. All right. So that Marshall is knocked out with that Pollen Hazard attack that he did because of the burn and poison. So we're going to promote the Zero Aura out. Come on, draw supporter. Energy. Okay, so we got one of the things we needed. So how do we want to do this? Because if we use Tag Ball GX here, we can do 260, which will not be enough for the knockdown here. But this one's only going to be 150, so it's less damage. Man, this is a hard choice here. So let's see what we do here. We don't want to promote this because he can easily knock it out with this one energy attachment, evergreen or either choice ban. So we definitely want to give him something hard to knock out here. Man, just we got we got one. Okay, so I think our best bet is to. Full blitz here, load up their aura. Yeah, okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll send this bad boy away. Energy attachment on there. Energy attachment on there. We'll retreat for free. Multi switch here. There we go. Yes, because he's gonna be able to heal it, or maybe not. Yeah, he can heal it if he chooses to. That's okay. So willful we'll blitz here, get three energies out, and add them to zero aura because he's going to be burning confused. So there's no point of putting all these energies on there since we're not going to be using this tag ball GX from this Pikachu Sacrum. Or I guess we could have because we could have put pressure on on this Venusaur and possibly knock out an Altlite. So uh, we'll we'll see, right? Because if he burns and confuses, if we still have to either hopefully roll through the confusion to get the attack. So it's a lot of things. I mean, I guess if we pull out a Guzma, we could do it as well. But right now, we don't have a hand, so that was the best route to be able to load up Zero Aura. Because even so, I can retreat this Pikachu Zekrom, send up Zero Aura, and still have enough for the knockout here. Without using Electro Powers as well. Just in case he gets another Venusaur out, we can use Tapu Koko. All right, so we got some more energies on his side of the board. He's not going to be able to get a knockout here. Oh, man. So, okay, so he ended up healing. So we're definitely not going to get a knockout here. But we did get a draw supporter, so let's see what we got going on. Okay, well, now we got knockout here. Okay, yeah, we have knockout with this. Let me see what he's got going on here. He's got 
Well, that's too bitty. That's too bitty. One electro power gets us a knockout here, and our Pikachu Zekrom stays alive. That sounds like a pretty good deal there. So that's what we'll do. All right. So let's get these energies. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do this. And that's it. One electro power. Will energy attachment onto that Pikachu Zekrom just in case he gets Goose Mud out. We don't want to Ray. He's going to be just another target, easy target. So okay, so we are going to do the GX attack on our side to get this knockout on this Venusaur. Hopefully, we draw into some good cards, some energy switches, Choice Band. Choice Band definitely going to help since we do have Electro Power in our hand as well. Let's see what we can do. We can goose my out a Lele as well. <clears throat> and somehow fish out our next target. No, but he might be able to get this knockout here just with a regular Bicca Bolt. He's got Choice Band, definitely knockout. Okay, so let's see what he's going to do here. So two onto the Bickle Bowl, one attachment choice band gets him the knockout here. And then it's gonna force him, because we can return knock out that Bickle Bolt. This is gonna force him out to find another Grubbin. But is he gonna do that? He's got energy attachment choice band, he gets knockout here. Which would be really good for him. Okay, looks like he is gonna dig it out. Let's see if he gets it. He's got 31 cards, so if he gets choice band, it's knockout for him on his on his side. It's gonna put us down. It's gonna put him down to two prizes, but then we can come back and knock out this Vicar Bolt, and that's gonna be his only method of charging up Pokemon. So Okay, so it looks like we got netball. Oh, okay, so he's getting ready because he knows this one's going to get knocked out since he was not able to get this choice band knockout here. So it looks like he's got a Vicar Bolt in hand or maybe Ultra Ball already. Okay, so there's that Nest Ball Grubbin. Let's see what else he's got going on here. Or he might have choice band all along, actually. All right, Electro Cannon, he's gonna have to discard those energy, so that's gonna put a few energies back in his discard pile. So that's less energies for him to dig out as well. I believe, what, discard three? Yeah, discard three from this Pokemon. Okay, so the question is, do we wanna let this Tapu Koko die? No, because we don't wanna give him, we don't wanna give him another easy target here. So what we can do, oh my goodness, this is hard. We can either take another prize here and go down to one. He is gonna, I think that's the, no, I think the best bet is to take out this Bickle Bowl because then next turn he's just gonna be able to charge up all crazy. Uh, hard choices, hard choices. Okay, so we already used our GX. So let's put Choice Pen on here. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do here actually, because that's going to be if we don't kill this Vicable, that's going to be two four energies that he can place on the board compared to just uh, regular. But we want to hang on to Guzma because we can just Guzma out later next turn. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So we let this Coco die here. Let this Coco die. He'll go down to two. Unless he's got Guzma. Nope, it's still not going to be knocked out. Okay, so that's what we'll do. No. He's got 150. How much do we do? 
Okay, so we need electrical power here to get this knockout. And we'll attach turn as well, just to put some extra added pressure. Sky high claws here. Okay, there's the second Guzma. So on our next turn, we can Guzma out Lele and use this uh, Plasma Fist to get the knockout. Let's see what he pulls out of his turn. I mean, if he got Rare Candy and Netball, I'm assuming he has a second Vickle Ball ready. So there is that Fill Blur. That is definitely going to hurt us. Definitely going to hurt us since we now need another Choice Banner or Electro Power to be able to get this knockout on the top of the lane. That definitely hurts. Because now I can't Guzma and Cynthia at the same turn. So if he gets, okay, he's Vickable, Rare Candy, Energy Attachments, Knockout. Sounds about right. <clears throat> so I should have hanged on to that Choice Spam. It's all right, though. Should have hanged on to it. Let's see what else we got. So what could have, oh, Marshadow. Oh, man. So this is another... <laughs> Another setback on our side. So we do have some order pads going on for us as well. So we have three remaining. Hopefully they're not prized. That's okay. We didn't need these two cards down here anyways. We didn't need energy switch at all. We didn't need those Guzma though. Okay, so we ended up getting our marsh out of our own. So that's kind of good because we get thin out the deck here. We can play another Pikachu Zachrome, Energy Switch. Alright, so he passed his turn, was not able to get that knockout here. Alright, are we able to get this knockout? So we just need to get Choice Band, we have Order Pad to do so. So we are going to do this. Just in case with this Order Pad we don't get it, we can just... Marshadow or even Cynthia. All right, looks like we did get it. Let's get the choice band instead, actually. So choice band with that order pad there. Attach it onto Zer Aura. We are going to retreat Zen up Zer Aura, and Plasma fits for the game on that one. So definitely well played by William with this Venusaur deck. Like I said, it's. It was both uh, both of us had slow starts on both games. Decks didn't play out well for us. We still came and got back at it. Uh, that I think he had turned two Venusaur ready, which is pretty crazy. But I just had the right card to be able to take out that Venusaur. All right, guys. So that was our online tournament that we had going on for our round four, and this is the last round we have for our online tournament. So pretty soon we'll be posting the pairings and who ended up winning for our tournament. So I want to appreciate you all to watch our videos even more. I appreciate you all again for coming in and watching our videos. And please continue to watch them. And also thank you for joining us. Peace out.